and I'm doing really bad. I'm sorry. Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon as Pro City Games keeps crushing it with all our money. Uh, oh, I should make a game. Dad. Uh, current goal still is to get uh, 100,000 fans so I can start publishing my own games. And I feel like that'll just, that'll, that way, that'll, that'll help so much because I can do whatever I want and I've got a lot of options. Oh, for some reason, people want me to make Dreamcast games or Nintendo 64 games. Just any, Nintendo wants any Nintendo 64, any Nintendo 64 game, just give us something. It only has to be kind of good. Uh, maybe, same thing on Dreamcast. You know what, I haven't made a Nintendo 64 game yet, so let's do it. I'll do it. For you, Nintendo. Uh, rated everyone. This will be a, uh... 64 game. So it's gotta have multiplayer for sure. How about, a uh, Casual? Wait, what's casual? Uh, action. Why is it, like, racing in here? Right, casual, action... Dip, racing. That even makes sense. Wait, how about casual simulation? Does that make more? I, I don't know how that works. All right, but for the 64, it's gonna be four player, and it'll be called the the what's a the good theme? They've done they've done animals, they've done cart racing. Uh, instead of instead of carts, you're not racing carts. No, uh, you're racing uh, uh, something that's look wow, turbo trains. I could bring back turbo train. It'll be a reboot, not even a sequel, a reboot. Turbo Train! Turbo Train Tirade! Turbo Train's back, everybody! Whoops. Wait, what engine was that? Oh, I gotta pick a game engine. Sorry. Uh, uh, it'll be with the... To give it the best graphic. <laughs> Turbo Train's back! In two months, the PlayStation will be taken off the market. Whew, thank God I'm... Hop on the Nintendo 64. Uh, multiplayer, uh, just all of it. All of that. Okay, so in a racing game, gameplay is king. So is engine? And take out the linear story. Okay, uh, gameplay designed by Jennifer. Engine by Devin. That looks good. Uh, story quest, Nolan. Uh, no, we'll put Max on there. Right, work! Oh, people are already hyped for Turbo Train! <laughs> this is Tom Mott from Center. I got word from Pro City Games working on a new game. You guys want to hear all about Turbo Train? Tell them about Turbo Train. Uh, all about how good the, the engine's gonna be. Graphics, you know, whatever, but the engine, that's where it's gonna be at. Did you think the Nintendo 64 was dead? Because you were wrong. Did. I feel like AI is most important, followed by, well, maybe level design as well. Because you're like, you're designing the, the tracks, that makes sense, right? All right, so, artificial intelligence would be tech, so Jared on that. I guess I could put Devin on there, he'd be slightly better at it. Level design, I'll do it. And then dialogues, no, mm, eh, Jennifer. Nola hasn't done shit for Max. That looks good. Nolan's still not doing shit. Why did I hire Nolan? What do you do here? The Game Sphere, aka the GameCube. Oh, look at it. I love it. Which was tried to complete with Sony's PlayStation 2 and Microsoft's Xbox. The, curious, the curiously shaped console has similar hardware specifications as other consoles. <clears throat> as I make a Nintendo 64 game, I could have made it for the GameCube. Also, Animal Crossing it. This was originally made for the Nintendo 64 DD, which didn't get released, which isn't my fault. So I'll just port it over to the GameCube with the same graphics, but better capabilities? I don't know. Uh, graphics and sound really up there. Looks great. I might fire Nolan because of how bad he sucks. I just feel like he's not really adding a whole lot right now. Dude, we're killing in these bubbles though. That's a lot of bugs. All right, the GameCube is out, but not before I give it the swan song of a train-based multiplayer racer. All right, well, there you go. Killing it. Good management, Jared. 
Thanks, Jared. Uh, release it! There you, there you go, gang. Okay, while well, that's happening, we can keep, uh, keep working on and trying to improve our engines. Got all those topics in there. Sci-fi. That's what I've been using Nolan for. He's just been researching new topics. Wild West, sure, throw that in there. And then Devin, generate a game report for Turbo Train Tired. Turbo Train came in. What do they want? Fives or sixes? Uh, nailed it. Uh, good game. <laughs> Pretty good game. Their focus on gameplay served the game very well. That, I, I did what Nintendo wanted. There's like, we really need one last killer app for our Nintendo 64. And then we could test it in our little, our little center over here. Yeah, that's what we did. It sold half a million units. That's pretty good for the Nintendo 64. You don't have more than 100,000 fans with such a big fan base now with the self-published medium games. Great. Hope you're all ready for this fucking shit then. Let's check that release. Re re casual racing is a great combination. Graphics is important. Interesting. Uh, let's see. And then... Oh! <gasps> No, go back, do it! I wanna make a fashion game. We need a new engine for a fashion game. How do I, let me, no. How do I, I wanna make a new engine. Can, can only I do it? No, here, okay, okay, okay. Uh, custom engine. Okay. Uh, branchy story. Pretty much all our best shit in there. Video playback. Oh, this is gonna be the best engine we've ever made. This is gonna cost a lot of money, but goddamn. Easter eggs, AI companions. Yeah, all that. All that in there. Oh my god, almost cost a million. All right, this is gonna be. Uh, we're actually gonna call this the. Um, call this the Amethyst engine. Get to work, everyone. This is going to be sick. Rumors are Nintendo is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it's not a successor to the somewhat disappointing game sphere, but it's a new console in the mobile market. Oh, the DS is coming? Hmm. Excellent. Oh, you know what games work well in the DS? Fucking fashion games. <laughs> oh, I, I, I gotta combine fashion with something. It could be a, a fashion... Fashion with a different genre, so I could do like a specific kind of fashion. So I could do like sci fi fashion or dungeon fashion. Nice. Adventure games are especially popular at the moment. Would you like to go on a fashion adventure? <laughs> oh! I just invested over a half million dollars to the new game engine. Got fat even for that. The new game engine Amethyst is now complete. Hell yeah. Um. What can I combine with fashion? Crime? <laughs> Actually kind of makes sense. I won't do that though, not the first game. Aliens. Let's keep researching our aliens. Sp spy, that could be cool. And then I'm gonna keep training Nolan so he doesn't suck so bad. I feel like if I get his tech up high enough or really good at research, let's make him good at researching. In two months, this Nintendo 64 will be taken off the market. Grab Turbo Train Tirade while you can. Only 3 million units are out there, so it'll easily be like $80 in the used game swap meet market real fast. Okay, what kind of booth do we want at the game center? It'll probably show off Turbo Train. Medium? Should've started making a thing. Okay, you guys finish up, finish up, finish up. All right, and then when Nolan finishes up, then we're all gonna we're all gonna start making a... Fuck it, here we go. New game. What? No, I'm making a new game. Boop, boop, boop. Stop trying to... I don't want to sabotage anyone. I just want to make... I just want to make good games. All right. Medium game. Self-published for everyone. Uh, this will be a fashion game. Casual. Uh, adventure... A casual adventure... <laughs> fashion game <laughs> hear me out yes 
Um, uh, on the GameCube, because I can't help myself. Using the Amethyst Engine. This is going to be so good. This is going to be called... Alright. Casual Fashion Adventure. Alright. What, what, what screams Fashion Adventure? Like, um... Two handbags. No. Girl, what you got in them bags? How about, um... Ah, right, got it. I'm just gonna call this... V-neck. Because that's all I know about fashion. Alright. Uh, I'll just use the best graphics for now. I still want to make my 3D graphics better, because I just... Maybe if I just shit out a bunch of small games. Okay! Right, a casual adventure. Probably don't need engine as much, but the gameplay and story quests has got to be super good. So Jared on story quest. Jennifer uh, on gameplay. Engine can be... Engine can be Devin. Okay, we're talking advanced cutscenes with a branching story. Uh, well, maybe not branching story. It is casual. It's got video playback on there, because of course... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe not video play back then. All right, save game multiplayer. Multiplayer? Yeah, I can have multiplayer fashion. With achievements. On the GameCube. Uh. Fuck. Shit. I can't have everything I want. But I want everything. Fine, no achievements. I guess I don't need to put as much into the story and quest if I'm only doing this, so then... Change my mind. Branchy story and advanced cutscenes, yep, yep. Needs more engine if I want to do... Ooh, fuck. I have to, like, kill gameplay to make that happen. I can't do everything! Okay. Mmm! If I do just video playback, I feel like not having save games seems really stupid though. I want save games. Okay, got that, got that. Everything else looks good. Go for it. It's our first ever self-published game. V-Neck, the casual adventure. Yes, we're showing off V-Neck at E3. <laughs> Please come by and see my booth on V-Neck. People love it. Holy cow! I should have got a bigger booth. Fully I know, and I was going to be making V-neck. Not even top 100, though. But still, a lot of people came by. There's hype for it on this GameCube game. Uh, related, be sure to check out Bratz Rock Angels, where the fuck was I play on the channel. That's got a lot of fashion into it, which I had a lot of fun with that, won't lie. All right, a level editor and fashion doesn't make sense. I'll throw some Easter eggs in there, though. Okay. Uh, so this is this is an adventure game. So I still want a lot of talking. It's gonna be a lot of talking. So maybe, uh, yeah, companions doesn't really make sense here. Okay, Just like that. All right. So dialogues. I feel like dialogues would be a design thing. So max on it is fine. Level design could be either myself or Devin. I'll do it myself. And then Nolan, why don't you do that? No, I want this game to be good. Devin, you're on that. Yes. No, oh, this is gonna be so cool. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so in V Neck Casual Adventure. Uh. Not only are you out on a seek to get uh, out seeking the best, most fashionable men's V-necks, because it's very hard to get male fashion done right. So that's what this is about. Still with a female demographic, but very much uh, about men's fashion. There are women's fashion there too, but I feel like men, having men's fashion there is to be open world with a rich backstory. Alright, uh, world design. I think world design and graphics are probably gonna be the most important here. It's a straight up, it's got its own soundtrack. Featuring your favorite tunes. Um, let's see, 
graphics is a tech thing, so. Devin. Sound. Sound could be Nolan. World design. Max? Sure. More than that. Uh. Let's do that thing. Whoops. Oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Oh. What? Marketing! I want to do marketing. Ad. I want. So I can advertise V neck. And I haven't been doing this at all. Good job, Jared. We'll do a small campaign to advertise V neck. Oh my god. Look at the numbers, though. Everyone, we're gonna make so much money, and you're all gonna get a sweet vacation. This game's gonna kill it. Oh, let's polish it up, baby. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's the DS! Or GS. It features two screens, one of them touch-sensitive, and promises unique gameplay. While Nintendo has been struggling to regain their market ever since Nintendo 64, they still have a very strong position on the mobile market. If it promises to strengthen this position, it aims to breathe life into a stagnating mobile market. This console will be in stores next month. Alright, we gotta finish up V-Neck! <clears throat> Level ups! Release that shit! What all research I can do? Where did this come from? I can't it comes from leveling up, right? Mod support, basic physics, save to the cloud already? I can be really out of the curve. Virtual economy. Alright, first things are first. You guys can all go one vacation. Oh no, not the PSP. Sony announced that they are launching a new mobile gaming console called the Portable PlayStation, or PPS, for short later next year. Media analysts speculate that this announcement is meant to distract users from the Nintendo DS. Well, the DS utilizes an innovative tool screen, the PlayStation, the PSP, instead it makes use of a single screen, will focus on game giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Reviews for VNEC came in. Casual adventure. Eh? It's good! Informed gamer liked it. Look, I wanted I wanted a fashion adventure game and I did it. And for that, I feel there is no crime that I have done. It was self-published as well, so it'll be rare. The DS is out. I'm, I'm proud of what I did. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of engine support, level design, world design. Oh my god. I don't even fucking know. I don't know! Expedition? I mean, people, the market was trending towards adventure games at the time, so it seemed like it was a good idea. Uh, I feel like I should improve my speed. Let's do that on me. Nolan, I still kind of suck. I wish I could do your. I wish I could improve your tech and speed a little bit. Co jam. Maybe you won't suck so bad then. Maybe. Yeah, see, we're, we're getting some sales of V-Neck out there. Let me get Jennifer on a brief vacation. She's a little burnt out there. Okay, what can we research? Research, um... Do more topics. Just all, all kinds of different games. And, uh, pirate! Ooh. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, post-game analysis of V-Neck. So, casual fashion, fashion and casual adventure was good. Sound was important. Try focus the entire team on the development of the game. Oh, I guess I didn't use Nolan at all, but no, fuck Nolan. Look at him. You know? You know? I know. Why oh, haven't, wait, I haven't done romance yet? Oh, oh, now I have the option for a city game. Damn it. Oh, I could do a romance game. A romance RPG. I, I got it. Here we go. 
New game. It'll be mature. Because you might see a titty. Hey, right, where's romance? Um, it'll be a, uh, uh, casual, a casual RPG for the, um, probably PC. No, PlayStation 2. Using the Amethyst engine. Should it be mature? Maybe we should, no, we'll see everyone. But this, this game, um, Ooh, wait, no. No, I forgot it. I forgot it. Really getting ahead of myself. Brilliant idea. Okay. So we're actually gonna do a dungeon game first. Uh action RPG. Uh and it's just gonna be called Amethyst. But it's gonna be very heavy in the characters. Um It'll be it'll be mature. It'll be mature. Amethyst. So it's an RPG called Amethyst. A gender RPG called Amethyst for PlayStation 2. Uh, I guess I'll keep using the best graphics possible instead of 3D graphics. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, just all the shit. Give me the, all the best shit. Okay, so, story and quest, top fucking notch. Uh, is this, is this, this is design, right? Would you say that this is design or technology? I forget. I, I guess I'll, I'm the safest bet there. And then Jennifer on gameplay. Engine. What can I do for like engine a little more? I guess bring engine down a bit just so that uh shit, no. No, this is hard. I don't want anything to suffer. Character progression. Oh, let's take out achievements. Let's keep it that way. Okay. No, no, those are new. Keep achievements in. Okay, so, yep. Like this. Uh, okay. So, um, Amethyst actually refers to the main character, a woman named Amethyst. And she travels through a different uh, dungeon and has to collect all kinds of different kinds of gemstones and minerals to, to, to succeed and save the world. But she's not alone. She meets a lot of other people along the way, a lot of male companions, a lot of female companions, AI companions, some would say. Oh, stay, stay with me, game. Okay. And, and, uh, uh, a little... Okay, okay. Let's do... Yeah, let's do like that. Because I really want dialogue to be king. Just let it run around there. Okay, okay. Artificial intelligence. Uh, Nolan. Can work on that. Max still designing dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, uh, it's your typical fantasy RPG stuff. It's a lot of hack and slash adventure kind of style. Uh, and the, the different gems, uh, basically, she uh, can. Oh, wait, I should market this. Uh, let's do let's do uh, let's just a small campaign for it. Uh, and she takes the different gems and basically places it into her bracer. The different colors she has gives her different powers. and But they're not elemental powers. Not one of them is elemental. That's too basic. So a, a red gem is not going to give her fire powers. No. It'll be like a red gem gives her uh, 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 the, the ability to warp time and space. Or, or, or the blue gem will give her the ability to uh, 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 change the weight of things. Uh well, uh, adjust the density. Shit like that. Yeah, it's got day-night cycle, because that's fucking dope. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's also got graphic. More graphic. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, world design by by Jared. I'm designing this world, dang it. Uh, no, just kidding. I don't want to stretch myself out too much. 
Yeah. Can I do more marketing while this is happening? Sure. Yeah, throw in some advertising in magazines, too. Uh, this, this is gonna be great. Trust me on this. <laughs> uh, more marketing? As we polish it up? Magazines and demos? Uh, I'm starting to get poor. Alright. I'm gonna release Amethyst in the next video, and then you'll see my brilliant follow-up, which is going to blow your mind with how good it is. Trust me on that. And we'll end with the death of the Dreamcast. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this so much because I know I'm still having an awesome time. I know I'm doing poorly, but I don't care. I'm more trying to come up with random ass game ideas on the spot than trying to win at the moment. And I'm having a good time. So please subscribe if you're enjoying this and want to see more. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to give a comment down below. If uh, how long have you been a fan of Pro City Games? What was your favorite Pro City game? Game. Yep. And like the video if you are enjoying it because it does help me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>